welcome to the exhibition tonight and you will have seen all the paintings. So a big thank you to Nuki Zoo and the Heritage Lottery Fund and Falmouth Art Gallery for organising this. And I just had the best experiences with my paintings, you know, penguins surrounding me, meerkats biting my feet. I've had lemurs sticking their fingers in the paint and getting all close and personal and arty. And it's just been the most fabulous experience. And to share it with the wider community has been a treat. So thank you very much and enjoy. All this is part of the Darwin 200 uh, celebrations for the South West, um, supported by the Heritage Lottery Fund. And we've been working in partnership with the Maritime Museum, Millie there. Um, it's a glamorous side of the Maritime Museum, much better looking than Jonathan, I have to say. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> and then we've also got um, New Key Zoo, who we've worked very closely with. There's Mark there with the creepy uh, uh, crawlies there, and the glamorous side of Nuki Zoo's Ross, isn't it? Right, of course. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so thank you to them, and we've also worked with um, Penley House. Um, with this grant, we used John Dyer as an artist in residence at Nuki Zoo, and he's produced all these amazing paintings. Um, but we've also had other artists like Nick Brennan, who's the Beano cartoonist, um, uh, Peter Davies. Uh, all sorts of artists went to Newquay to do a, a day, but John did a whole series um, which has been published. But I'm not going to talk anymore, I'm going to hand over... Well, th thank you very much, Brian, and thank you guys for, for turning out on a bank holiday. What a, what a good turnout. And uh, thank you to Falmouth Art Gallery and the Heritage Lottery Fund for allowing the paintings to go up on the easels today. And a big thank you to Newquay Zoo and the Maritime Museum again. It's been a really brilliant collaborative project where I think we've all played to our strengths. And what makes me so happy is you will all know, if you know my work, the route to my work is the childlike, that initial energetic response to the world that I strive to keep in my work. And I think we should all strive to keep in our lives full stop. You know, the joy of seeing a little white daisy and going, wow, look at that, that is something special. And that's what my painting's about. So when that's combined with the zoo and then combining it with inspiring nearly 200 children did paintings for us as well with their vision of Darwin's voyage. That's my, my perfect exhibition, the perfect end result with the community and my own work working together. And my days at the zoo have been spectacular. I've been covered in lemurs, I've had my toes uh, nibbled by meerkats, I've been had to put welly boots on because the penguins don't just bite, they twist as well. So, um, I can keep painting, yeah? Yeah, well done, mate. Well done. Thank you so much.